Now I'm going to show you guys how to change your tactics by um, your formation. Formations, as you see here, I'm not going to go through every single one of them. All you need to do is hit the select button. Everything you need is here. Now a lot of stuff I'm telling you here is already there. All you need to do is just make an effort and read it. Team style, it, it tells you all about the sliders, what they stand for. Maybe not the way that, you know, is that, that it's not really direct to make you understand but um, it will give you an idea. Now, choosing my formation, it tells you here, 442, balance formation suited with team bed down the wings. I'm not going to read all of them, but it tells you all these formation, what they stands for. Now, if I want to choose, if I want to choose a balance formation, or let's say, um, if I want to choose a formation to counter attack, I will go with um, 4231. There you go. I'll go with 4231, which is right here. 4 2 3 1. If I want to play counter, quick counter, I will do this. Now for my second one, if I want to, if I want to have a defensive formation, then I will just look at here. Which one is a defensive formation? It tells you here 4 4 2 balance formation suited with team with pace down the wing. It says defensively solid in both central and wide areas. Now I would either go for that, or if I want to keep the ball, I would go for the last one. A defensive formation suited to teams who like to hold on to the ball. So, if I want to go for pace, as it says, is solid defensively on the wings. Obviously, I need to change my um, tactics to long ball to make them. Uh, as I said, you know, all these that I've told you, changing your tactics by player rules, formations, and um, your sliders. I'm going through all of this. You need to take a time and effort to create your first formation and tactic, second and third. Make all these three ready so during the game you can switch to any of them. Now for the second one we are changing for our second um, tactic we're gonna change it with um, we're, we're, we're changing it with the formations. So as it says 442 is defensively solid in both wide and central areas. Now I'm not sure. Maybe if you have four center midfielders, it will make it defensive. But if I change them to winningers, it may not work the same. But at the same time, I do use this sometimes. All I need to do is change these guys to defensive midfielders. Um, both of them, or one of them. I even sometimes to play narrow. If the, if the opponent gives me a lot of chance, if he has a formation, he plays with one defensive midfielder, I normally just narrow it up, I will play with two attacking midfielders instead of winningers, and just make them kinda right beside it, or you can even use them as an SS, but most of the time I just do this, if the opponent plays very wide, I will just kinda narrow it down using attacking midfielders instead of left to right midfielders. Now, we're gonna go to the um, or, as I said, you can choose that um, the other one, which is basically suited to play defensive and keeping the ball. But that could be very defensive, and you, you can still counter as long as you play long ball. You can with the high shift into attack, you can still counter. But mistakes happen. You know, you could be pressured very badly. You lose the ball. You get pressured a lot. So I would go with a 4-4-2 for your defensive one. Now for the third one. Is the offensive one? We're gonna choose. We're gonna look at here which one is the most offensive formation. Um, this one it says four one four two one three a formation for teams four two one three a formation for teams like to pressure the opponent from upfield. Now that doesn't mean it's offensive, but you can pressure it. And by pressuring, I'm obviously you know it's, it's gonna be like with wing forwards. Now we have another one which is for an attack minded formation which sacrifices strength in midfield. Now you have a choice. You want to go for an attack minded formation or you just want to pressure. You The gameplay, the way you play if you like a passing game instead of doing the passing game in your own half or in a mid pitch if you choose 4-2-1-3 you can, you can transfer this the passing game while pressuring him in the box. So if you like the passing game go for 2-1-3 if you just want to barge forward, then go to four, four, one, two, three. Are we gonna see what these formation looks like? So, what, 
The first one of them, if you like to pressure, is basically is this one. As you see, we have wink forwards. Uh, you can still, um, what I do normally, I use this one, but I'll change my uh, sentiment defensive midfielder to center midfielders. Or you want to go for the attack-minded formation, which is this one, but uh, it's very risky because you will get countered badly. So it all depends on you. Now, I've showed you guys how to change your tactics by player rules, by slider values, and by formation. So get all these get all these together and you come up with something that suits you. Now I showed you the element, I gave you the tool, all you need to do is come up with something that suits you. Another method of uh, coming up with some new formations and tactics, you can actually simply um, select any team that you like the formation save it and then load it for your master league online for example you go to a, for an exhibition match and um, you select a team that you like and uh, normally what I do I just go through teams like for example uh, world classic and let's make the other team let's say Cameron now I look at them here if I like that formation if I like that formation as you see here I'll change check the sliders do I like it it's a bit more it's very very defensive all you need to do here is uh, to go to the um, data management save it here as you see I already have it saved you basically click on it and you save it once you saved it here you're gonna go back to your um, master league online and then you load it now it's not just that you can you, you can choose any team there's many other formations like one of them that I really really liked um, you may even laugh at this uh, UAE I don't even know uh, what country this is um, what is special about this formation is that they have the right and left midfielders very close and you have a CF which is very kind of down now I really like this, I've used this for coach mode and I won a cup already with it. I even use it for normal mode, I did win it. Now the reason why this formation is special is because normally it will not allow you to have a left midfielder that close to the mid. So is the right midfielder. Now I can show you how. Now if I double click on, if I want to change the player of this rule, now as you see it will not allow me to choose him as a CF that's what makes this formation special by default it is like that so for the right midfielder it will not allow me to change him to any other like if I change him to the attacking midfielder there you go it will not allow me to use him as the right midfielder and same thing for um, the left midfielder as well it will give you an option to change him to a center midfielder or attacking midfielder but then you cannot change him as a you change him to left midfielder because uh, by default is like that and uh, if I if I wanna try to create this formation again the two defensive midfielders are very simple but I cannot have a right midfielder that close to the mid it will not let me I have to I have to um, drag him all the way wide out to be an attacking midfielder and so is for the striker if I drop him that down it will not let me, it has to be high up. Now this is the way it should look like as you see. If I want to select it I cannot change that. Now I use this formation a lot. The way I adjust this formation is simply changing one defensive midfielder to a center midfielder and leave it like that. Sometimes uh, to uh, make things a bit narrower to make my attacking midfielder stay close what I do is change him to an attacking midfielder and even pull this out a little bit if the default one which looks like that it doesn't work now if you like this formation simply go to data management save it here save it here and then when you go to your master league online um, formation menu you can simply load it I'll show you how now we we saved these formation as I showed you before and now we're gonna load it for our master league online team as you see here all you need to do is go to your data management and then choose load now as you see the world classic is here load it there you go all you need to do is change the player to the right one for an easier option instead of doing this one by one easier option go to your tactical assistant 
and in your auto lineup select by form as you see you see the difference select by form it will put all the players with the highest rated even this is a good thing if you're playing competitions online um, instead of every game you know putting the best player in form in you can simply just leave this on every time the game starts uh, the computer will put the best players in form for you by itself Um, now as you see this is my first formation this is how I started with and um, my defensive one is this one as you see using the same players I don't need to make any subs it's just these players are very versatile every player can play different positions and this is my second one and for third one uh, for the offensive one as you see the same players okay combination play now a lot of people do ignore combination play but it's very very useful I mean um, for example this one hold up the ball as you see say uh, the first guy on the ball let's do this again let's see the first guy on the ball is Perlo and that's Osvaldo coming for the ball while the Sharawi making a run into the box so you're on the ball with Perlo Osvaldo is a decoy coming for the ball and Sharawi is a target so you have the creator the decoy and, and basically the target you have to practice each one of them I would suggest practice hold up the ball till you see which area switch you to do it some people use it to four three five I found it when I put it to four or three it's very close the players always end up in an offside so I use area seven so that means um, every time I'm on the ball with my defensive midfielder Osvaldo comes forward El Sharabi goes for the run and that's that's the easy will to break your defender diagonal run is basically I put it on um, three that means Osvaldo again makes a run to the other flank and my defensive midfielder or my Winnegar, um makes a run into the pitch. The cut inside again you have it in uh, I could put it on area 3 or I can even put it on um, area 5 just whatever area that switches you I can just uh, sorry I can just uh, remove that cut inside um, yeah I can put it on area 5 and it shows you here what it does basically when my winnegar is on the ball the striker comes in holding the ball while you're making the ball in and th there's a lot of different ones um, I actually quite like let me just uh, clear these up I normally do use dummy run and lay off when you're on the ball with your left back or your uh, left midfielder or right midfielder as you see two players will make a run so imagine you have two players making a run imagine if you added pass and move or a trigger run you will have four players highlighted attacking the opponent your opponent wouldn't know which one is a target who you're gonna give the ball to so there's a lot of um, this is one of the other things that you can be offensive without touching the player rules or the formation or uh, switch flank is quite useful actually switch flanks is the only one that um, you can set it quite deep which it goes to area 9 and 11 um, I normally always have one in one or two and I have one in the mid and then one half deep uh, I do I do like this one as well drop deep and overlap I put it on 10 that is good when the game starts from kickoff so when the game starts from kickoff you don't need this when the game starts in the midfield is a kickoff you give the ball to the striker and your winnegar or a left back will make a run into the box it's very simple and it's a very very good attacking method Overall, now you can see that tactics cannot cannot be changed just by formations. You have you can change your tactics by the way you play. You can change it by combination. You can change it with the slider values. You can change it by player rules and the obvious ones formation. Apologize if I'm talking too fast. Hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. I've been Pesep. Until next time, ciao for now. <laughs>